Chris and Blair from the Review Brothers giving you a look. Hello. Perfect timing. At our Moto X. <clears throat> Motorola Moto X. Mm -hmm. This is, I say, one of the cheapest out of contract cell phones you can get. Correct? It is. It is by far. Um, it, Plus for a new smartphone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for an up to date, high quality, high end smartphone. This is about the cheapest smartphone you can buy at an average of 500. I got it for 350 off contract with Motorola's promotions they have going off. But most phones, um, 350 might sound like a lot to a lot of people who buy two year contracts, mm -hmm. but that is subsidized. So, like a lot of your iPhone that you bought for $200, if you're to buy it off contract, is looking like Upwards 700. Over 700, yeah. depending on the gigs you get. Yeah, so you can still get this like subsidized on a contract too, but um, off contract, you don't have those fees, early termination, stuff like that. So. Yeah. Uh, let's just get into what it's about. First of all, the hardware. Um, one of the cool things about this phone, if you're on Verizon, AT&T, and I believe Sprint, and maybe T-Mobile, um, you can actually go to Moto X customization website and customize the full outside of the phone, um, the accents of the phone, the black, the back, the front, um, how it wakes up, and like you can put your own like special wording on there. That's what I really like about it. Um, As you see, I just went with all white with the black accent, just because I like how simple it looks. It looks clean and. Because Android is typically the uh, uh, cell phone, what do you call it, this operating system, I guess. Yeah. That is the more personalized one, but now that they finally brought you a phone that is more personalized, like the outside, you can do whatever you want to it. Every button, you know, different colors, the outside, different color. And like you said, the greeting message can be different, which is really cool, bringing the hardware to be more customizable. Yeah, and it just sort of comes in as a full package. Um, so in terms of hardware, it's got a soft touch back. Um, it's got two buttons. I mean, it's just your simple phone. It's not too big, 4.7 inch screen, and it's a 720p resolution. So um, that's one of the things that makes it so cheap. When you get a phone that's this price cut, um, you have to make sacrifices somewhere. And one is definitely the resolution at 720, but a lot of people aren't gonna be able to tell the difference between this and a 1080 on such a small screen. I can't tell, so it's fine for me. And then the other Yeah, it big... still definitely looks really clear. Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna be able to spot a pixel on this thing. Um, the other big cut they made is definitely in the camera, and overall the camera is just not that great. Yes, compared to some of the other smartphones out there, your more full-priced smartphones, for instance, the iPhone, just the top-level camera, this doesn't really compare. Um, yeah, it just doesn't. It might still be a decent quality uh, smartphone for maybe a year or two ago, but today it doesn't seem to cut it. Yeah, exactly. So um, the other thing I wanted to point out, there's a few features, like if you just hold it and you twist it twice, It'll shake and then it'll bring up the camera. So we'll add this picture to it. Um, boop. You guys will be able to see that picture. Um, but that's kind of a cool feature if you want to add quick access to your camera. You can shake it. It's got cool touchless notifications where the phone is flat. And you have a notification. It'll like sort of like blink at you and fade in and out. And like, hey, you have a text. And um, it just it doesn't affect battery life at all. I get a full day and a half on this if I want two days. Um, it's just a really solid phone overall. And I think that... For a first-time Android user, um, coming from an iPhone or something like that, this is one of the best phones you can get because the price, it's not very big, but it's still, and it just gives you a simple way to use Android, and it gets updated really fast. How would you say, is there a lot of bloatware on there? Or? No, not at all. For a Verizon phone, um, it doesn't have a lot of bloatware at all, which is actually really surprising for, because Motorola is obviously bought by Google. And in and case someone doesn't know what bloatware is. Bloatware is like apps that come pre-installed on your device the first time you boot it on. So a lot of you have a Verizon, say Samsung Galaxy S4, you know, you should just have the bare essentials on there, but Verizon loves to put like Dropbox on there and all these different things because they pay them to do that. Um, this phone doesn't have a lot of that on here, just some Motorola stuff, but that's good to have because I hate getting a phone that's just filled with apps I don't care about. Yeah, exactly. And the good thing about this, the last point I'm going to make on it, is that Google is going to update this thing like crazy. Remind me to call Chris tomorrow at 5 a.m. It's a great alarm. <laughs> Um, because Motorola is bought by Google, so every version of Android, the latest one, you're going to get sort of on the same scale as the Nexus phones for Android, which is a huge plus for Android users. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the phone, especially if you're looking for something nice out of contract, so you break your old cell phone, this is something I would definitely look into, because mm -hmm. maybe you don't, you don't want to go for the sketchy Craigslist used phone, because you don't know how the quality is, but this, for maybe a little bit more, you're going to get a brand new, high quality phone out of contract. Exactly. So as of right now, I got it for 350 to buy for 500. Um, it's kind of pushed it to the top, but Motorola has been throwing a lot of promotions at this lately. So just do your research. If you can get it below anything below like 430, 
All right, 400 area, I definitely think it's a buy. Yeah, I agree, that's definitely a buy. This is kind of different, and after a while, I actually got used to it. Um, initially, I was hitting the power off the Droid Ultra, and you have the Droid Max. And there's a term in marketing called the decoy effect, which is basically made to upsell people. 